Hello guys and welcome back to Leet Logics. This is the minimum number of k consecutive bit flips and the number for this is 955. So in this problem we are given with an binary array nums and an integer k. A k bit flip is choosing a subarray of length k from nums and simultaneously changing every zero in the subarray to 1 and 1 to 0. That means we have to do the reverse of what is given. Like if it is 0 we, are, we can flip it to 1 and if it is 1 we can flip it to 0. So the problem requires us to return the minimum number of k-bit flips required so that there are no zeros in the array. That means we have, if uh, we can make the nums array all one, all the elements in the nums, if we can make one, we have to return that how many minimum number of bits we require, uh, bit flips we require for that. So this is the problem statement. And uh, to achieve this minimum number of flips, we need to be a bit strategic about where to and when to flip. So let's first see the examples. So nums equal to 0, 1, 0, k equal to 1. So we can flip one bit at a time and we have two zeros in this array. So if we can flip one bit at a time, we can flip both these zeros and the nums becomes 111 and uh, so that's why since we are flipping two elements we have flips equal to 2 now if you carefully see this example this example can never be turned into all ones because if you flip here this becomes 0 and this becomes 1 and uh, this thing will go on that 1 will become 0 and 1 will become 1 because k equal to 2 so this is not a possibility that's why we have to return minus 1 here. Now for this example, I have explained through the approach how we are going to do this. And the approach involves a uh, use of a uh, fun array, helper array is flipped to check if we have uh, flipped the, we have uh, performed a flip operation or not. And we also have a flip state and the result to store the answer. So let me explain you the approach. So we start with nums equal to this 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and k equal to 3. And so we start iterating through the array and we see the first element is 0. Now since we find the first element is 0, that means we have to flip the bits. So we choose to flip the bits and now the expected nums will be the first three bits are flipped here as you see the first three bits that were 0 are flipped to 1 and the expected nums becomes this and we have marked this in the flipped array our flip is flipped array so the is flipped becomes 1 and result becomes 1 because we have done one flip in the next step index is at 1 so this has already become 1 we will not do anything we will move to another pass index 2 1 do nothing move ahead index 3 already 1 do nothing move ahead now when we encounter index 4 in the next step when we encounter index 4 we see that it is 0 so we need to flip this part so we will need to flip this and this becomes 1 now but doing this will not only flip this part but it will also result in flipping these two because since we are always flipping a window of k size so the two ones after zero also becomes zero due to flipping so the new resultant expected nums becomes one 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 and three zeros followed by three zeros now in the next step we see we encounter another zero so what we do we flip it again at this step we flip it again and when we flip at this the entire nums array becomes one consists of all the ones and in three flips we are ready for the answer ready with the answer because all the elements have become one but since we were iterating in the array we still need to check if there is any zero left so we'll check at the sixth index oh it is already one at the 7 index we have already one so no need of flip 
so we can return the rest the rest had the number of flips that we do you can see at the zero index we check if it is zero yes it is zero so we flip it then after flipping no needed to flip no need to flip no need to flip at index 4 we again flip it at index 5 we again flip and then 6 and 7 do not require flips so the number of flips is actually 3 and this is our answer so i hope you understood how we are going to approach the problem now let's come to the coding section but before that do like the video share it to your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so first let's define the length and we will need a flipped to maintain a state and the result to store the answer. Now we are in the next step we are going to iterate in the array. Before that we have already created the is flipped helper array to keep the track of the flipped bits. So we will iterate till the num.length and do i plus plus. We check if i is greater than or equal to k. So, if we are checking this because uh, in the actual array, like in the explanation, I have shown you what will be the expected nums here. But in the actual array, we are not going to make so many changes like if we flip this, then again we are going to convert all this to 111. And then if we flip here, then we are going to convert this 1 to 0. We, we are going to use, uh, we will be using if statement to see if we have previously flipped it or not so we will check using the flipped statement flipped state what we have kept so is flipped i minus k so what we are doing here actually we are ensuring that the subarray starting at i extending to k minus 1 is within the bounds. So, for that, we have done this, and uh, then we are going to check if it is previously flipped, then we will decrement the flipped state. So, that's why what we will do if flipped equal equal to nums of i then in that case we also need to check if i plus k is greater than nums dot length it should be within the bounds and if it if this statement happens some time that means we cannot do Otherwise, we return not return, we flip, we'll set is flipped of i to 1 because we will flip this element and flipped will be dropped rest plus plus. to remove this part because this is the only operation what we perform here so this will be like this okay. 
no seems fine let's try to run for the sample test cases there has been some error so sample test cases are passing let's try to run for the hidden test cases as well So yes, the hidden test cases also pass with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity. So the time complexity for this solution is O of n and the space complexity is also O of n because we are using an additional array is flipped. Time complexity is O of n because we are iterating over the nums array, that's why. So I hope you understood the logic. You can also see the solutions by going to the solutions panel of lead code and check this solution, this one. This solution contains the intuition, the approach, complexity, step-by-step -step explanation. For each step you are given explanation, what will happen. Then you have the Java code, C++, Python, JavaScript. And yes, do remember to upvote me. So I hope you understood the logic. Do like the video, share it to your friends, subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.